that? Uh, the luggage bay's aligned between the cars. Pretty well, yeah. Okay. Hey, Alan, how's it going, man? Where you been? Where you been, man? Hey, why don't you give us a hand over here? Come on. Yeah, sure, I'll give you help. You right. guys own this thing or you just yeah. got it? Yeah. Yeah. We were in a band that was a lot more successful that broke up. So yeah. We were left with the bus. So now we just, oh, it's anytime we play, we just take classic. it out. talked about it, you know, about telling people because, you know, it's just a matter of time until everyone knows. And we're not trying to fucking hide it or anything, and it is. It's just a matter of time until everybody knows that we've, uh, separated. Yeah, I'm waiting for the Argonian to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, at least our friends, you know, I mean, it's no big deal. Rock star and girlfriend. Hey, here's up. part of that. Looking for Chivo Canoe. This song kind of fits into and, that. And you know, Jason was an artist, and he carved a great tattoo. He especially liked Venus. A little too happy. Like goddess of the moon. I like her arms they lied in ruins. I think we should use a couple the songs we play already. Come by. For the rock opera. Crumbled Personally. in the rubble. I write a few is around it. Fly. Now I miss you. Your kiss is stone cold. I'm all alone in the dark. Oh, yeah. The pain in the heart. You're broken heart. Tattered and torn. Da 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 da. All I miss you. Played this a long time. Oh, Chiba was an artist. <laughs> He's jumped a great. I don't. I I personally don't think we should use the name like throwing around like that that much. I don't want it. Oh, haven't you learned anything about popular music in the last yes. twenty years? Yes. Don't use <laughs> Mr. Bojangles. Don't build every. Don't put everything in one bucket. So let's not fill it with cliches, man. You said it was a cliche. <laughs> it's the way it is. <laughs> Seriously, you know, I mean, I, I think we should use the song So What. You know, the trouble is, Johnny, we don't got a bunch of eggs. We got one egg, so it's got to go in the basket. And it's got to be well, I, I it's got to be well just, fucking protected, man. You just toss just the egg back and forth and move in the car, right? Is this working? I don't know if you should pose like you should relax. Reach up and touch your chin, chin like you're pondering. As I look out of my window, I'll tell you what I see. Young man marches off to war, and he returns never more. Old man shows him how to kill. Pull the trigger, push the bullet into the skull of the man who holds him down. He's in the bushes, Alan. Okay. Sorry, dude. So, I see that at last you have come. I was waiting for you. <laughs> I knew you were coming, but I didn't know why. People come to me for all kinds of reasons. Oh, the original audio was really bad. So, what are you here for? My soul. My soul. 
Whatever. Let's draw some cards, shall we? I have a really like, wacky idea. I'll pretend different... I'm dead. And I'll lay these cards on me <laughs> like a crucifix. <laughs> No, no, mm -mm. tell me the truth. I want to hear the truth. You must take a journey and find the one with the shiny helmet. Shiva Knievel. <laughs> this is me? This card represents you. One. You'll get it when, when oh, later. Okay, okay. And this card will oh, represent Johnny. Johnny. Uh -huh. Nice. Well, okay. <laughs> Which one's me? At least there's a two. You and Tommy. That means I'm gonna get laid. Matt. Johnny. What's this one mean? The five pentacles? That means the journey that you're gonna take. Oh. Uh -huh. It's a rough journey. Yeah, it already has been. But you and Tommy have known each other for a long time, so that represents the two of Makes sense, too. How come the other guys get all the glory? <laughs> so, okay, he's gonna go on a journey. And he's gonna meet Johnny. Thinking about this for Matt, looking for his ex-girlfriend. And Tommy's looking for a job, which means riches. Fantastic visions rise out of the seven cups in the clouds before this man. He does not know which to choose. The castle, the jewels, the wreath of victory with the skull below it, the red dragon of temptation, or the serpent of jealousy. They landed down in London town with a friend or two, a friend or two, a couple guitars and a rented car. And we got through from Dublin down to Liverpool. Night after night, in smoke-filled bars, we played guitars, played guitars. People came and they liked what they saw, so they sang along. Let's get it on, everyone's a star. Well, don't give me none of your sympathy, roll the dice. Let it bleed Paid the price You know it don't come easy Play that symphony of faith for me the Wealth of a man is not measured in gold So I'm told, so I'm told But by actions and beliefs In the depths of a soul So now you know well, I've got to go down below. That's too much. That that's, that's out of our budget. It's not that important, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's very important. It's not that important. In fact, Mickey cut the 25 cent costume budget. Yeah, things are tight. We may have to return one of the tapes we're after going, it's used. We're going into winter. The There's next guy who buys do. goes into Freddy's and gets the tape and then, like, put it in. And, what the fuck is this on my tape?
Hey. Hey buddy. Yeah. Do you know any Shiva Knievel? Uh, uh, yeah. He works at, uh, Club Formosa. Well, where's Club Formosa? Yeah. It's, uh, where are we now? Uh, it's, it's, it's about three stops. Uh, why don't I just... Ow. Why don't you just wake me up when we get there? Hey, buddy, thanks. Whatever, dude. Hey, buddy, hey, oh, there's well, Club Formosa. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to go on a journey. The only one who can help me is that Club Formosa. Chiva Knievel. Maybe that guy can help me find a job. I haven't had a job in six months. So, Johnny, we're gonna we're gonna be coming coming to the Formosa, running a mat in the dumpster. Then he's he's all like, yeah, someone told me he knows where my ex-girlfriend is, and then we're gonna go into there, and then you're on you're playing, and we're all, and we're like sitting there, and you come over to bum a smoke from Matt, and, and I'm like, hey man, that was a good set, you know, and you're oh thanks, dude, you know, because you're the rock I'm star. Somehow we need to play in. Well, you can probably just say, so what are you guys up to tonight, you know? And he goes, oh, we're just looking for this cheap and evil guy. And you're like, oh, that guy owes me money, dude. <laughs> Whatever you say, say it like you would say it. Just be Johnny. Right. You know, don't try to be anybody else, so. <clears throat> don't try to act. Yeah. What do you think? Let me get it focused. Get in focus. Let me know when you're in focus. Let me know when it's time for action. Yeah, see? Who's the other CK? Three, like that. Oh, it's like this? I don't even know how to do my own I don't know what it looks like. It's like that. That should be four. Four? This kind of CK. Achieve a Knievel, man. Action. Five. This is a little clumsier. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do a 180 next time, Alex. I don't like my address being nervous. I'm in this, in the volcano. Yeah, other buddies, but they're really not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> try to stay, Johnny, try to stay on the other side of the camera. Oh. Yeah, beat up the drummer. Hey, beat up the drummer. <laughs> What's your band called? Achievement Cut! <laughs> <sighs> That'll be it. I want you to shoot some of the features of this house back here, because I want to show that's my builder, actually. Okay. Because so, see how they got the little wood that protrudes out? Jenny really likes that. Yeah, and but, if you don't smoke that much, I can get out of your system in like three days, dude. Pineapples and stuff? No, I've got uh, golden seal and uh, nice. I was in a drug rehab, so believe me, I know how to get that shit clean out of your system. That's my biggest problem. I like this. <laughs> it's such a ham dog, it's not even funny. Hold on to the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The guys your mom warned you about. Yes, that's right. All the way from Northeast Portland, Chiva. Motherfucking Kaniva! Ah! 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 Yeah, I see you. I know it. Great day. I trust you on the master. Um, <laughs> you, guys, you guys put most of that together, anyways. I mean, you've done a wonderful job. And... <laughs> no, no, no. That was the other band. I auditioned for Fun Box. And, and I was busy doing other stuff, and yeah. I missed it, so 
You failed. And my sister See, and here's the guy who got the job, and there's the guy who didn't get the no, job. No, no, this is a different band. This is a different band. Different yeah. band. Yeah. Different band. Different What's different? Okay. Yeah. As Cartman would say, I'm going nah. You got nah. Okay, hookers, strip. Excuse me? <laughs> Do your thing. Da 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 da. Okay, the shoes are a start. That's good. Da 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 da. What? No pay, no play. It smells good. I paid you already. Come on, go. Go. Look, there's more high-priced gr call girls. <laughs> Where? Oh no, that's a girl. That, that's that's Wendy. No, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Here, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. That's how we met, man. I answered a personal ad. How the hell did I meet you? This is really bad. Oh, 1992. So that makes this almost nine years. No, no. I thought it was before 92. That's I met it. my wife in 92. Whipping Dead or Chiva? Well, I guess we all get kicked out of Whipping Dead in 92. You've never out. been in a band until you've been thrown out of at least one, you know? I've been thrown out a couple. Yeah. I've been thrown out of five or six. It's what like kind of a music? punk disco. Yeah, we understand the question, so record and then we'll pause, right? Punk disco <laughs> ballet. Classic rock gone bad. You're too much damn punk in it, you punk fucker. <laughs> None of the punk in it, we're too old. Oh, that's right. Yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> How did we come up with that name, Johnny? <laughs> uh, the way I remember it is we were at a party and somebody was bragging about how much pot they could smoke and um, somebody out of the corner of their mouth said something about Chiva fucking Knievel and uh, we just kind of liked it and it kind of stuck to us like, you know, gum on the bottom of your shoe. Okay, that was okay, right? Yeah, except for the OKs. Thing. You see, at the end of the OKs, he's not, not, he's not saying. Oh, hi. Hey. How's it going? Not too shabby. Hey. Well, um, there's some people back there. You might want to go check them out. Take good care. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Awesome. What's going on? Hey, Alan. Hi, Alan. Uh, working on something new. Yeah, yeah, I was just working on the video, man. I was just, it's, it's coming out really cool. We're looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, we're going to need the, to get like a live track, though, because like the studio stuff just doesn't work for it. And it's so like <laughs> rock and it's like just like insane. <laughs> and, uh, and so we just need to record like a live track, like really. It's a lot of low end, bottom end. Well, that sounds kind of heavy, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's really heavy. But we, got, we got something to tell you, Alan. This is Matt, and, you know, he's kind of. He's kind of redirected our thinking. He's enlightened yeah. us. We've decided to become a adult contemporary. Yeah, along the lines of, uh, you know, Susudio. Yeah, we think AM and FM, like, standards is a, is a nice, like, avenue for us, man. You know, like, women between the ages we're gonna, of 18 We're going to sell out and go pop. Right, right, exactly. We're adult contemporary now, Alan. Yeah, I, I think I, the key word here is adult contemporary. Yeah. The key word be. is adult. We've seen the error of our ways. I don't know about contemporary. There's no, there's no money yeah, in rock and roll anymore. Right? It's all been used. Exactly. That's why I said Hey, Alan, check this out. I'd say that uh, sex is contemporary. Well, uh, hi, Mom. What about the video? It's going it's to be rocking. I, like, all the footage I got is rocking. Rock. Hey, you know. Well, do what you can do. <laughs> you know, I came home late the other night, and uh, she wanted to know why, and uh, sex was bad. All I can say was this.
and brown paper bag. Come on, none of that bullshit. I don't want all that exploding ink stuff. We gotta go. Did you hear me the first time? Come on, we, we gotta, gotta go. go. Let's go. John turns a key on his 57 Chevy. Right. Well, it's not for the week. It's just for the brain. You call it gasoline after shave. Hey, That's what they all say. You're gonna pay. That's what the man says. Jennifer and George. Oh, we do need that. That's what the man says. You can't go wrong when you turn up the volume. I have to fight you with the people. Hmm. It's a very comfortable helmet, though. <laughs> I love you both. God damn, he's cute. Bye. Yep. He's the cutest baby I've ever seen. <clears throat> yeah, wait until he gets older and start looking like Tom. Even though you feel like, you know, I mean, the goddamn cop's like mouth is like a rubber band going weird. <laughs> and you're sitting there, you feel like you're like wobbling all over the sidewalk, but you're not really. You're standing perfectly still and talking perfectly normal. And so they. I think Carl's on acid right now. No, I'm not. No, I haven't done any of that shit since I was about 22. So 10 years. It's been like 10 years. I haven't done any anything but drink, pretty much. A couple of tokes on some here and there. But mostly just alcohol the whole time. Oh, and I did, I did some a few times. But that's it. Actually hung out the right crowd. Oh, forgot there was a stint of that like was one, just for a, a summer. one-night stand or something. Oh. I just remember driving down um, I-95 in, in like a 72 wide body, whatever the hell they are, you know? Yeah. And they just sway with everything. Yeah, I know. Because they're so goddamn heavy. <laughs> and we're we're all like baked and drunk and everything else, <laughs> doing like 100 miles an hour. And the guy at the wheel is probably the worst of us all. And you just start to wonder if maybe you're just not going to make it, you know, out of your <laughs> teens. <laughs> You just kind of sign yourself off. Yeah, yeah, you're just kind of back there, you know? Yeah. We have coffee and everything. <gasps> Didn't we used to drive? Oh. Aren't you coming over to our house, though? I guess. We're smoking crack, right? Well, yeah. It's oh, a joke, you guys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, the first set was killer. There was probably maybe 40 people. I'm just pretending like we're really famous sitting on the bus. We, we are, are people. Really people actually like this better than the other band. Which, I mean, isn't really that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, we're waiting for the other guys. What are you filming? What's it's it all really sweet. mean? What are you filming? What's it about? Where his helmet is. What's the helmet? <laughs> I'm not putting the helmet on again. Oh, yeah, baby. You no. can't make me. Carl. I'm not your bitch. I'm not Chiva yet. I'll be Chiva tomorrow. Well, when you are Chiva, we're not going to see your face. Yes, you will. No, well, we... no, we just catch a glimpse of the helmet and you kind of darting over a sand dune. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or we see the helmet floating in the waves. Jump you know you know what? That'll be nice. To do stuff where you're looking for me and put me in the background in weird little, so you can slightly, <laughs> exactly. like in a tree or something. Exactly. I can be up in some branches. You'll walk under it, and the camera will just kind of see it up. I brought the helmet so they can see it from the street. Yeah. So it'll gleam, the and they'll gleaming, go. The gleaming in the dark. And they'll go, oh, they'll there's go. the helmet. They also have a There's only eight goddamn notes. So, yeah. Ah, there they are. What about this? Better watch vodka and salsa. I go off looking for Chief Knievel, and I find Tom, and then me and Tom find Tom, Tom find John, and me, Tom, and John find Matt. And that's the Wizard of Oz steps. And we're all looking, and all of us are like, yeah, I've been looking for Chief Knievel too. And we keep looking. He's the scarecrow. I'm Dorothy. He's the scarecrow. He's the tin man, and it makes him the cowardly lion. <laughs> and then we're all off we to see Chief Can Evil. Off to see Chief Can Evil. What's the that make me? Uh, You're Toto. Shut the fuck up. Either that or one of the flying monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck ass. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? 
Certainly not throwing in the back seat. It's Johnny here. Now I'm here. Anyway, I'm about not drinking and driving. Don't drink and drive. Let the other fools do it for ya. Yeah. Oh, look at how lovely you look. Oh, you look really good in night vision. Oh. That is Reagan. As in the president. As in the ex-president. As in the ex-president. You look so the much- the Oh! <laughs> is it recording? Awful moment. Why are you having such an awful moment? Because I've decided that I'm a gambler. You are a gambler. I know I you're spent, a gambler. You know what? How much did you spend this evening? I spent $20 on video poker that I don't have. Oh, That's a full tank have. of gas. Yeah, it is. You're as bad as Not me. Not only that, but it's wrong. But then again, when you're flat broke and you have $2 left to your name, Go get your shoe shine. Oh, sister. Shoe shine. You are so much like me, but you gamble, I drink. Well, For us, failure is just not an option. Here's how you can help. Yeah, it is. Failure is a part of the problem, the bitch. On how to volunteer. She goes, I don't care if there's like girls and stuff hanging out or whatever, but I don't want to hear that there's a bunch of guys dancing around the fire naked. There, Man. whatever you're doing, I understand it's your guy thing. I was playing, I'm doing some naked dancing around no, the fire. I don't, you can, okay. Wow, we should have got half of wow, that. Wow, that we don't want to realize it. My have have right one one. No faces. Yeah. And there's shit that you did when you were Chief a kid. Has like, no face. We just learned that there will be an album. They're talking about an album cover. Of course, yeah. they haven't actually gotten together and recorded an album, but they're planning it now. They've recorded albums. They've yeah. recorded albums? And I want a copy of the live one, by the way. Are they any well, you good? Can pull out the you should ask her, see if she knows where Chiva Knievel is. Ben, you ask her. Yeah. Let's go. Somebody's got to come out. Well, now Ben can okay, do it. I'll do it, but I'm just yeah, saying, I'm Chiva Knievel. I'm not you. supposed to be doing it. We're never going to no, catch her. Like, oh, yeah, but but you're Fred. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, okay. Somebody's got to come with me. I'm a cameraman. No, I know. We're waiting. We'll He's drinking. I don't think it's a good idea. No, it's a great idea. No. Funny way to We're all a felony waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah. He, he needs another drag when he gets back. Don't worry. Well, I'll be, I'll be collecting later. See, there was another opportunity lost. Lost another opportunity completely. Lost. Alan, you girl, know, fucking you didn't say hi to a girl. How many beers you got in your jacket? You're going to the lake. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the lake. There's yeah. some sand dunes. Dude, we gotta get some moonlight shots. I'm sitting back getting drunk now. I'll go to the fucking lake. Yeah. Let's get drunk on the way. What's up with Johnny? What happened Johnny's to Johnny? out cold. I know, what a loser. Let's just back out to the front. And I guess I put my. Just look, it's too tall. And look, there's little creases in it. We're here. We're gonna die, man. I'll see you at the dunes. So far, it looks like a dead show, but the dead are here. The other side of those trees, there's a big sand dune. Yeah, there's a big sand dune right over here, so we're going for that shiny that thing at the end. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. It does look that This place was so awesome because that dune, we'd get to the top of that dune and just go rocking down as fast as we could and just dive right in. Come with me into the undersea world of the giant squid as we explore into the dark and cold, cold world of this bloodless creature. The <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's creepy. Now you're going too fast. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, see, that's good stuff. <laughs> see, it's like, what was that? Yeah. Here, slow down a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. You had really good eye flickers. <laughs> it's the sound effects that are cracking me up. Yeah, there's fish jumping. The fishies are jumping because the giant squid it is a terrible predator. It grabs with its arms. Make it let go! 
and bites with his beak. Dude, fish is farting. Yeah. That was you. Get out of no, here. No, no, I heard trouble. Let's go down. Let's go down. <laughs> Check this out, Carl. Weirdness. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird. Get rid of your flashlight. Oh, bring it back. I mean, it was totally changing things. Oh, that's whacked. Come on, Alan, go. Let's go somewhere else. Alan, this is the last. Go, go, go! Somebody jump. But then we're gonna do some more falling shots too. So it'll be a sequence of falling shots. <laughs> Somebody jump! Okay, relax. Should have brought my wide angle lens for this one, but whatever. I'll stay far enough. It's funny how you get used to the wide angle lens. Once you have it, then you, you miss that having that extra distance. Alan? I don't know. I, I don't quite get the choreography yet. Well, he's in there taking... A dump. A, a dump. And, and I'm brushing my teeth or whatever. Okay, so you're right here. You're right here. Okay. Alan. I come out, I go that direction like I did. Uh huh. He comes out and goes that direction. So you don't see his face. Okay. And you see him come out of the bathroom like 15 seconds after I do. Or 15. How about like a. drive by in a car actually and then we could all like there he is and all like jumping yeah, in the car and then we all, and then you guys him. pack up really quick is this the way it's supposed to be in slave machine routine reality no not that he was here he was camped right over there dude now we gotta figure out where he's gone can we try the library yeah, I heard that guy reads a lot. But it gets them the chicks, you know. If you read a lot, chicks think you're intellectual. Let the chicks think what they want. Wow. <laughs> the legend does exist. And look, he only camped one night. Did he pay cash? Oh, he did pay cash. He always pays cash. <laughs> Dude, if he had a visa or something, we could totally trace him. Yeah. <laughs> All lies. <laughs> I think he stole my bottle of whiskey, is what pisses me off. And it seemed like somebody was trying to dig in my pockets all night last night. That was Carl. You guys so, are just going to get into the cars and run. We're all just going to be sitting around like we're doing. Yeah. He's going to back the car up down the street. Whatever. No, then he'll kind of drive by. Um, I think Ben should maybe notice him because he's okay. the most non involved, you know? Yeah. And then at that point, like, oh, quick, get in the car. We're all going to get out and get in the car. As soon as he says, fuck achievements, everybody just runs into the cars and gets in the car. One, two, three, four. Who's that knocking at the cellar door? Old man dressed in black. Except Mickey, who just kind of sits there, kind of looking at us, like, what's going on? We drive off. We're going to go all the way around the loop. You know what? If I tap it a little bit, the grease look goes away. That's nice. nice. Yeah, he's got to do see the what finger, I'm talking about. Do the finger comb. You know, what, see what I'm talking about. at 3 o'clock and then by 4.30 to follow the roll back in. Well, there's this stuff I want so much Crave it, crave it, crave it, man I can never get enough of that, you know It's plain to see It's a great shot if you are. We're gonna all such a bunch of goofballs. <laughs> oh, sweet! You got some stills? Nice. We'll probably use those, yeah. You want us to run again, Alan? What? We can run again, we'll be more tired, so we won't be as goofy. Tell us to run again. Yeah, run again. <laughs> What's Ben doing? He's not running. Yeah, Ben. You're supposed to be down yeah. there running this way. Yeah, or not, whatever. It's, yeah, it's fine. Or not. <laughs> whatever. At this point, he doesn't care.
Oh, I, I don't, don't need me. You don't oh, need me. Okay. <laughs> no, we're, we're, actually, we're trying to find Shiva Knievel. You know where that is? What was that? Shiva Knievel. Okay. Oh, sorry. Absolutely no idea. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Well, thanks anyway. Go to the jetty. Oh, the jetty. Yeah, yeah, we have an appointment. We're trying to find Chiva Knievel. We've heard about him. We, we think it's a myth. A We're joke? trying to find the legend of Chiva Knievel. Are you guys, this is a comedy, right? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Sort of. <laughs> if you sat and listened to you him live, for a while. Do you live in Oregon? <laughs> yes. Yep. And this is a joke. <laughs> All you homosexuals need to get in the car. Okay, we'll see you guys at the jetty. <laughs> All right. The jetty. What's the jetty? The jetty's up here. The your jetty. Ass. It's a jetty. Why don't you so turn you know, that you shit off, what, you fucking You know what? It, you know what it, that's all you got is make a living, and that's fucking a lot harder than you think. Versus wow. people that won the lottery. There's more hey, but but then the again, lottery. what's the standard of living? Because I've made a living before playing music. But not really. But it sucked. No, we made good money. Who? It's uh, me and Wadi. Oh, in Europe? Yeah. Yeah, but that was just for a couple of months. And right. You know I'm talking. I'm talking. That's what you do. That's your job. And if, and and if you're Funbox gonna retire did someday. nothing but play, they would have made enough money to live off of. Not me. You guys. No, that's what I said. What's the standard of living? Right well, there. I that's mean, your day job. That's it. That's what you do. Right. Tom. And I'll tell you right now, you most could, people... You, you, most Funbox people, could do that. Just, yeah, but Funbox would do it for... two fifty a month each. Yeah, you know? you'd be doing it for a year or two and you'd get sick of it and you'd get another day job. Fuck yeah. You'd continue to wait or You don't have so. to tell my fat old ass that. People, I want some uh, fucking cash. People, I don't know. Like X, they were totally self-sufficient. Colobo. No, they actually had houses and cars and yeah, stuff. and Colobo. No, Colobo Colobo's, makes money. Colobo's on the bottom. They're like they're they're the at bottom. that line. They're at the line. They make a living at it. They have to tour all the time, but they don't have so much excess income that they can. They probably each make fifty grand though. I'm gonna go check no, this I don't other think band they make. Yeah, because they sold. We were. I read an article. They sold like eight hundred thousand CDs a year. You guys want yeah, they put they put a lot right? back into booking agents and touring. And oh, I'm sure. Well, we must be up in here. We must be up in one of these. Oh, we're in that one. Yeah, I just didn't feel it that time. Now remember, your motivation is, is motivation here? you're Chiva Knievel and you're contemplating suicide. You're, you're going to go to the end of the jetty and throw yourself into the ocean. in there guys. Tell me to go back down. <laughs> Dude, he's not in there. Check again. You thought the entertainment business was entertaining. Come on, guys, just sit down on the rock and take a rest. Go take a fucking break. 
Nick. He's like, that's what I wanted to do. Dude, this isn't in my contract. Let's go. Uh, OK, action. Mother Nature would not have That's nothing right. to do with Mother this. Mother Nature's disowned us, man. The musician's retirement plan. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Musician's retirement plan. That's right, man. That's my IRA, baby. The musician's IRA. You see that? Let's get up close here. Ninety-two million, man. Musicians don't fuck around. The serious IRA. Powerball. Well, unfortunately, only one lucky fucker gets to retire every couple of weeks. It's a whole bird, dude. To find it's Chiva Kaniva, we'll the use desert. these bones. The, Let's, we should like sit around and we'll throw the skull, these right bones there, out. You know? The desert shot starts Don't out. Break that one, though, man. The, the desert skull. shot starts out with him on the skull, and then he pans up, and we're climbing this huge sand dune. Did you put that on my car? No, Carl. Let's get somebody to put the helmet on, man. Uh, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, there's people leaving from here all the time, and they don't even wear helmets. So they don't care. Come on, let's go. Let's go get him. All right, fine. Then we don't have to do it. Let's get out of here. Okay, fuck it. I want to get some shots. You guys don't want to help out. Fuck you. It's your movie. So I go to the store and there's this lady with her three kids and their little boys and they're going, nee, 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 wine, wine, wine. I thought, oh, they're practicing to be men. <laughs> Is that him? There he goes, there he goes. He's about to run it. Okay. Well, girl, I could marry you. Better yet, I could bury you. Dig a hole deep in the ground. Your remains would never be found. I can't wait till your eyes turn blue. I can't wait till your face turns blue. I can't wait to bury you. Ooh, Mary Lou. I'm Count your two. songs. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Who the fuck is pure? Usually. Yeah, we're pure. We're gonna play. You, guys you throw it in there, Mickey, on stage. Make it look all unprofessional. Make it look very Make it look all unprofessional, like only you can. Should, <laughs> exactly. Maybe you should roll through the first two or three notes in order. Yeah. That's standard rock shit. That's typical attitude, man. Yeah. Let's go look at these very punch. These yentles? Spank our ass. Because it's fun. Only because it's Because I woulda, coulda, coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's killer! No! No, it's it killed it. virgin sand! Oh, you love fucking sand, don't you, boy? Nobody's been on it. You're gonna get on it. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. A little hungover? What's up with you and the fucking sand, dude? <laughs> Couldn't we have done the tavern pool table show? Are you ready? <laughs> 